I have been working in my pantry and I finally got it organized. Here is what it looked like before. Beware. It was horrible. I would clean it like every two weeks, but things would start falling off the shelves and blah. So I went and got some things in the pantry and made it better. Okay, first off, I went and bought a hook system. It's for like purses for your closet. So it holds all the aprons and bags shoved in a drawer. They're hanging. One of the first things I did was this section. I had most of my muffin pans in a cabinet by the stove, but they were getting squished and ruined. So I went bought this divider and stuck all the pans in there so they hold up nicely in my cookie sheets. And then this section is I like to make meals for people and that had babies and help out at church. So I try to keep some of these disposable oven pans and Tupperware here that I can use when I create a meal for someone really quick. And then in this corner is all those weird containers like your cake pans and your like dip pans and deviled egg pans because oh, they're so weird they don't fit in a drawer. They're odd shaped. So putting them in the corner like that. I thought was perfect for them. Here's what I love. This section here. We have a big food room down in the basement that stores all of our bulk food, but we usually have some cans of beans and tuna up here. So I went and bought this shelf that the cans roll, so you just throw them in there and you pull one out. And if I built it right, it's supposed to <laughs> eh, fail. Let's try again. You put a can in, you roll it down and you're able to get one and they roll back down. I'm sure you've seen these, whatever. So they work great. In this section, I have some of my baking stuff. I went and got some containers at Walmart and what was great was that these all came together in the big one. So I didn't have to buy four separately. They all came together and I didn't have to try to match sizes. So that was great. So I'm going to label these for the family, especially my daughter now that she's trying to cook. She's uh, 12 and a half and she's doing a great job trying to cook. So I'm going to label flour, sugar, powdered sugar, and brown sugar. And in this corner I have the spices that I don't use all the time. like like my baking spices. This has like the nutmeg and the cinnamon and the grill seasonings. Really don't use all the time but it's turning to summer and we'll be grilling more and so we have those there. And then all the other random things that we have like sauces and agave and vinegar and things like that. And over here I went and bought this stand so I could create another shelf because see there's a good space in here. So I thought ooh if I make some sort of shelf I could store more. And that's what I did. I put the shelf in and there's some breadcrumbs and some pasta. Like, you know when you have only use like half the box of pasta or half the bag and then you have the other half and you forget about it and get lost and then it go yucky. Well, I went and got some of these clear containers from the dollar store and put the leftover uh, pasta in them. So now, like, if it's perfect size now, the leftover, so if my daughter wants wants to whip up some pasta for her, the kids, she can. And I can see how much is in there. Sometimes when you have like the leftover boxes of pasta, you're not sure how much is in there. And you see the pasta and you're like, oh, I'll make pasta for dinner. And then you boil the water and then you dump out the box into the water and you notice like, uh, crap, that was like five noodles. <laughs> so this way, we could see how much pasta we have left. Some of our leftover baking things like cornstarch and salt and baking soda and powder and cocoa and the cupcake cups fit perfect back there. And these are shoe boxes from the dollar store. Fantastic. And I have onions and garlic. Here's the thing. I used, well I still do. I have totes at the bottom here that I used to keep like bags of potatoes and onions in because they get dirty and the onions flake. But those bins ended up storing more junk and I would lose things in there and I wasn't sure how many potatoes I had left or onions and things would go bad. In fact, I found garlic. I had a little garlic container but it broke. And I went and bought more garlic the other day because I thought we were out and look how much garlic I have. See? So by organizing your pantry you could save money. Oh, yeah, no more garlic for a while. We're good. And then I bought this three container, which I will label at some point, but I thought if I get everything done and organized, then I can make pretty 
label. Anyway, in this drawer, I put all of our like juice packets, our crystal lights, in here. Um, so that they're easy to grab and I know again how many packages I have left in that can because I've done that before I'm like oh I'll make you juice we have juice I don't have to go buy anymore and then I open the tall container and there's no juice packets in there and then here I have some leftover seasoning some yeast and like all my seasoning packets to cook in the crock pot with and over in this bin, it's really long, so it holds a lot. And it's all those things that you bake with, you know, like your chocolate chips and your marshmallows and your coconut and some of the nuts. I put them all in here. Um, so when I go to bake, I could just pull that out and get what I need. And then here is a snack bin. It's going to change now that school's almost out in a couple of weeks. But you know the big boxes of chips from Costco? Well, this is what's left, and so I just put it in this container. Because once summer comes, I don't buy the bags of chips for them. Then down here, I went and got, I well, I had this one already, but I went and bought um, these cereal containers. So, again, I can know how much cereal is in the boxes. I can't tell you how many times we've wasted cereal. Oh, it drives me crazy. These are great. I could see what we need if I need to bring any more cereal from downstairs in the storage room up. And here is a sealed proof container that I put some of their granola bars in. Again, I can see how many are in a box. I think we'll go stale. And they're liable. If they see it, they'll eat it. For all of the Ziploc baggies and napkins, you know, nothing's falling to the floor. I've lost so many bags of sandwich baggies into the garbage because they would just fall and slip off each other. But now everything's in. Oh, love it. And then in this one, I put the garbage bags in. We go to Costco to get our garbage bags because it's cheaper, um, and they come in two big rolls. So I stuck them on their side and let the bag hang out because now when I grab when I grab one, it'll still roll, and I can pull it. So that's fantastic, and the kids can get to it easier than it being in that big box. Oven bags and some more saran wrap and things in here. And this one I have a bread basket. I can't tell you how many times we have had bread go moldy because it got lost in the pantry. I have some rolls and some bread. and I put the potatoes in here because we only had a little. Um, and so that's our bread basket, which I love. No more bread going stale. And the last shelf I put all of our kitchen equipment, like our toaster and our blender and my Bosch and my wheat grinder and my food savers back there. Just all the things I always go to, like my um, rice steamer, my crock pot. This is what I was talking about before where I stored my onions and my potatoes in. Which was a great idea, but then I had all those odd and kitchen things. So I have a lunch bag and, you know, all those things like your cookie cutters and all those odd kitchen gadgets that really don't have a place. Well, at least in my house. Oh, and then I have our fire steamer in the corner. So I put that there, and this one holds all the Tupperware that are huge and really don't have a place to store. It's more functional. The kids love it. They can find their food easier. I can find our food easier. Try to figure out how you can reorganize your pantry to make it more functional. Like It was kind of a hazardous place before for the kids trying to reach their food, but now it's accessible for them, and I'll change things up for this little guy to be able to get his food. Thanks. We'll see ya. Bye.